everyone. So I just want to kind of give everybody an update of what's been going on with my whole process of uh, going in for the surgery and all. So um, how it all begins and everything when you first hurt yourself and you got to go uh, get an x-ray. So the insurance company won't approve anything until they get their x-ray. So you got to go and uh, go take care of the x-ray. Then you go home, wait for the phone call. And now the next step is they're going to approve for the MRI. Once you get the approval for the MRI, they schedule that, usually within the next couple of days, because everything is time sensitive, since they don't want the bicep to retract anymore. So now you go in for your MRI. When you go in for your MRI, it's a quick process, kind of a little annoying, you gotta get in this little like claustrophobic kind of like tunnel thing. You sit in there for a half an hour, don't move, kind of uncomfortable, but it's dealable. Once that's all done, now uh, you go home, you wait for the results for the MRI, usually 24 to 48 hours, you get your answers. So then uh, you're either gonna find out, you either gonna just rehabilitate it on yourself, it's just gonna be time, or you're gonna have to go in for surgery. So as you all know with me, I'm going in for the surgery, this time it's my left bicep tendon, last time it was my right bicep tendon which is pretty crazy because it was the one year anniversary was the weekend that I actually popped it of my recovery for the one year. So it was like my left was feeling a little left out, wanted a little more attention. So, you know, pop, there he goes and I'm here again. So um, yeah, after you get all your results back, which, you know, I got the, the call and saying I need the surgery. They, uh, they scheduled the surgery pretty quickly. Um, um, now it's, uh, what day is today? I'm a little lost with everything. It is uh, Thursday, so yeah, it took four days to um, to, to schedule my uh, my surgery, and um, now to be able to go and get the surgery during the COVID times and all, you have to go and get a COVID test 72 hours uh, beforehand. You got to go get a negative COVID test, and uh, that's part of the pre-op. So um, instead, uh, normally what you would do is you go into office and. You know, you meet up with the doctor and all, but during COVID times, it's a little easier. So uh, we just do everything through Zoom calls. So it makes it a little more convenient, a lot quicker, a lot easier. So, you know, they just go over everything that um, you should be expecting. Um, tell you not to eat uh, up the midnight before. Um, what else did they tell me? Um, just kind of got overall what, what they expect and all. What's up guys? So yeah, it's the day of surgery. I'm um, going in 20 minutes from now. Um, how am I feeling right now? A little anxious. Definitely uh, a lot easier than last time. Last time I had no idea what I was uh, going to be expecting. But um, still got a little anxious, little nerves going on. Nothing too seriously. Um, one good thing is with the surgery is um, you don't even know what happened. You know, you, the last thing you're gonna remember is, uh, you know, you're laying down on a table and they're telling you they're gonna give you something that's gonna put you to sleep. And next thing you wake up, hour or two later, you have no clue that you just went through surgery. Actually, last time when I came out, I actually, uh, I was feeling sore on my arm and I thought I won an uh, arm wrestling tournament. And I was asking all the nurses how I did and. They were a little confused at first of what I was talking about, and I guess they kind of picked up on it and just kind of played along with it. But uh, yeah, so uh, about to leave here soon. Um, I haven't eaten since midnight last night, so kind of a little hungry and all. Um, haven't drank anything, a little kind mouth going on. But um, yeah, just looking, uh, looking forward to getting this done and behind me. This way I can move on to the recovery stage, which you know, I love that part. That's the challenging part. That's when you build everything back up and, you know, start training and all. But um, yeah, so after I do this surgery, so that's gonna be six weeks in a brace. You know, that's when you just got your little brace on. You can't do anything. You shouldn't really take it off or whatever. And um, what I'm hearing is uh, three months with, if there's no complications, the reason why I say that is the first one, they hit my nerve, so it wasn't the same time frame and everything. It pushed everything back. It was like four months in a brace. But if everything goes good, fingers crossed, then uh, yeah, it should be uh, 90 days until I can start putting weight on it, which is three months. And then, uh, yeah, the 91st day, you better believe it, I'm gonna be uh, starting the rehab cycle, start, you know, start training up that left. I'm not stopping at all with the right. 
I'm just going to take off this weekend, you know, with the surgery and maybe a couple of days of recovery, but I'll be right back at it next week, training, lifting weights on my right. And then uh, next weekend, I will be holding a practice at my house like usual. So um, yeah, we're not going to slow down, I'm not stopping at all. Just going to push me more and uh, just going to slow me down, but I'm here, baby, and I'm not going nowhere. I love arm wrestling and I'm not leaving this and I'm here for the long run, guys. So uh, yeah, that's my update. Wish me luck. I'll give everybody a little uh, little uh, after post-stop surgery uh, update. I don't know how loopy I'm gonna be today, so it might be better off tomorrow, but uh, yeah, I'll be definitely making another video. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for the support.